we have a German game here now. Uh, this I hate because your bot lane, even in Diamond 4. What MMR is this? I don't know the Emlund ranks. Is it's TV Hack Gaming, what ELO is this? It's Diamond. TV Hack Gaming, why are you trolling me? This is Diamond. Diamond 4. Okay, okay, for fine. I have to add numbers, alright? I did what I could. Anyway, so in any ELO you are, right? Um, you know, this happens. So those of you in plat, those of you in gold, and you're thinking, hey, you know, yeah, it's D4. You know, um, you know, you think you're looking forward to like your bot lane helping you level one. Uh, you, you, you don't. Don't, don't, don't look forward to it because they don't care. They just get more chromas. They get more Disney, you know, but look at this fucking Disney bot lane. There you go. They don't care about the blue buff. They're just looking at their chromas. So you cannot be in this situation. Now, what he does is interesting. Um, your top lane is at least being kind of useful, you know. There's two kinds of Aurelia players, you know, a good um, and, you know, normal. This ward here is interesting for me because you're against a Kiana. So the issue is the risk prevailing in this situation is you see this. So if she does Raptors, you will see it. Um, but what happens if they had invaded? Like, you had no vision. What happens if they had all roamed here for the, for the, for the Papega squash? You know? Then you get squashed, right? So, I don't, I don't really necessarily like that, but... Placing the ward, getting your scanner, this is good. Good principles. So, we start on the blue. Now, immediately... Okay, for those of us who are not in the know, uh, thank you for the follow. Wait, I'm black. Okay, um, you know, they show immediately full mana resources, full mana resources. Now you're thinking, hey, you're thinking, hey, diamonds know this. Uh, sometimes, because watch. So obviously this now is total control. Buff to buff level two, right? Buff to buff level two. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, good. Now we go mid. And also... Okay, let's just uh, reverse a second. You see this ward, there's good stuff, right? So you see this, great. Okay, that gives you everything you know. Can I make a lower quality stream? It's an odd question. Um, it should be changeable, but otherwise I'm not sure. So all of this, what he's doing right now is a waste of time. All of this is a complete waste of time. Um, you see this, right? And now you've got the Kiana showing up with vision. 8cc, uh, sorry, 8cs, meaning because she's gone to here from blue, there's no way she did um, blue into Gromp into Raptors, okay? Right? Once you gank mid lane here, you've seen Kiana, you have the vision, you have everything you need to know, okay? The probing here is completely unnecessary. The Gromp steal is good. But the probing is unnecessary. You know exactly they're done, right? Okay, so Gromp into into um, into Scuttle is very good. Now, here's here's the thing that's interesting for me. Okay, the Flash is burned level two gank, which means we can return very nicely. Here we go. Watch what happens. Flash EQ combo, autos, autos, autos get the stonks. Kiana is not that strong early versus um, this kind of team. Double kill. Very nice. No. Okay. Here we go. While red. So the probing, while unnecessary, gave him time, okay? Good gank. So if you're looking for early game stuff, super early game stuff, this game is what you do. Okay. What did he do that we don't see on our coaching? What? What do we see that we don't see on our coaching very often? Straight out of base into another gank, okay? Straight out of base into another gank, okay? And the vision control here is important. Make sure you hug in the wall as you come down for this, because as soon as you show yourself in an early game gankathon, uh, you're screwed. So this is good, right? Unseen completely. And look where he ends up. Now the question is, can he get anything from it? We get nothing, because Yumi's a champion. But the pressure's good, okay? Into Dragon. Why does he know to go to Into Dragon? I don't know, guys, why the, why the quality is not working. Okay. 
Boom, free Drake. He has 22 CS, 2 kills, and a dragon. Flash is still down on the mid lane. Chain CC with the Vagar. Done. Okay? High, high pressure. What you're gonna be giving up is a lot of your farm. Okay? The yeah, quality is managed by Twitch, guys. I'm sorry. Into topside crab. Now what do we look for? Now we can farm. Why? Because it really just went back to base. Okay? So no reason into no reason to try this. Because he's six. You just hit five. She went back to base. She has TP. The wave's kind of uh, in, a, in a bad situation. You need to use this time properly. However, however, by forcing yourself to go for this crab, okay, here's the issue. Um, this ward is bad. You didn't leave any vision around on the bottom side. So your blue's going to be spawning, okay? This blue's going to be spawning, okay? By going towards this, you're kind of giving them free control of their bottom side. That's my only concern, okay? And as you can see, watch what the Kiana does. She thinks, hey, we saw this dude go top side. That means he's probably gonna take my blue, so I'm gonna take his blue, okay? And now we have mid lane prior. Jarvan is meanwhile on the Crux, which by the way are level five, so, you know, good experience, okay? Does Raptors into second tier red. Level six. You lose all your blue side except for the wolves, but we can use our pressure. Patience. Patience. She's disappeared. When she goes down like this, you know she warded bottom side or is looking toward bottom side. This is good patience. Flash burned. The deep dunk. Unfortunate. Close, but well, you know, the, 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 the effectiveness of the gank wasn't the best, but the... Uh, the patience was good. I liked it. Now, the problem is, right, uh, Kiana stole all your stuff and you have 1,500 gold. She's going to get a blue. The Vagar knows. And he wants to go and investigate, but Jarvan cannot afford to. So sometimes you're early ganking things like this. Yeah, Vagar's a little blind. But sometimes you're early ganking things like this can cost you in terms of farm and experience. And that's why this style, the way this guy does it, is good, but, you know, can end up costing you. Again, straight to bottom lane. Straight to bottom lane. You know that they, um, you have a Lulu. A Felos is a champion that you can kill. Yumi is a champion that must be killed, always. Double kill bottom lane. Five kills, involved in all five. Very nice. Next. This is why, watch this. Sorry, I went back too far. Okay, watch this. Blue team's perspective. This ward is so good from blue team. You got a spam ganking jungler. Okay? Yeah, but we're gonna get into his lack of, of KS in a second. Boom. Scene. And he just scanned. If you're gonna scan here, at least hover the bush. Hover the bush. Okay? Because if they put something here and you don't see it, now now you're now you've been noticed. Kiana knows Jarvan's going up. She's overstaying. And Diana shouldn't theory see it. Again, you know, in theory. Um, but just make sure that scan is used fully, alright? Because Diana saw him, she gets to move on to the top side. Kiana goes bottom side and ins. Right? So feeding the ADC there a good decision. Now, this is where we 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 switch our perspectives for me. I would herald this. Does he herald? Okay, he does. Never mind. I'm thinking about a different VOD. So this is a good herald, right? In theory. Good. Now, instead of invading the blue, you got the Herald. We've got four minutes left to use it. Most of the time, we'll see people use it differently. Why did he wait in that second? Because minion wave shove, it's dark. So we can track behind. All good. All of this is good. Okay. Doesn't get seen because of good pathing there. Very nice. Okay. So now he's invading deep into their jungle. Deep into their jungle with his Vega. With the Herald. With his mid laner. Okay, again, no minion wave, so blue team will not see the Vega come, right? This is high activity diamond, okay? The difference between, say, a diamond 4, diamond 3, diamond 2, diamond 1 is how they translate this into victory, which is what we're looking at, okay? Now, they didn't time the backs of the bottom lane, so this is all wasted time, okay? All of this is wasted time. 
because this wave is not being shoved. If you were going to use the Herald, simply shove it. They wanted to dive. They wasted 30 seconds. They see the Kiana, however, trap her and get her. Yeah, Kiana's doing nothing. Right? He activates this Boinky Herald. Okay. The Vega's still there, and in theory now, he can clear this into the dragon. Okay? In theory. Um, however, I think you could have looked for it. You know, you could have... You could have done the dive if you wanted to, but I think this is safer. This is safer, right? There's, there's no issue with this. Do the dragon. All of this is pretty good. Right? What, do, does anyone think he's doing something wrong? The only thing he's doing wrong is, of course, neglecting camps. Which is fine if you want to end early. And that's where I have an issue. Cinderhulk. Cinderhulk. I am not a fan. It's great for team play, but the difference between Diamond 4 and Diamond 3 is your ability to 1v9. Right? If you're in Master Tier Plus, Grandmaster, Challenger, the Cinder Hulk builds can kind of be a bit more useful. Okay? Um, but here now, he's giving a lot of power away. Yeah, if you want, yeah, exactly. Warrior. I would have just gone Warrior. Take control of the game yourself. So now he's basically saying, I'm giving up my blue. I'm giving up all of this. Where is he going now? This is my question, you see? So for me, once you do the dragon, right? This is warded and no one scans this. So you do the dragon, right? Um, no one's walked over this bush at all. Yeah, it, it's good. It's not wrong. I'm just saying you're giving up carry power if you want to close by 10, uh, by 20, 25. Think of it like Rek'Sai. You AFK, you, you, not AFK, you, <laughs> you don't farm. You're efficient, you gank, you take objectives, you, you control the map as Rek'Sai, but you don't build Cylinder Hulk. I mean, yeah, it's not good on her at all, but um, the point is we're on a clock and we want to win the game. So Cylinder Hulk is basically saying, um, I can transition to late game, but you don't want to do that with this game style because the, the farming from the Kiana will be heavily used. Look at this, ward, ward, no scanners, nothing. Now, I know they want to kill the Diana, but look at the gold, 1100, 1100, 800. You know, I think I'm looking for blue, uh, blue buff, Grom, wolf control. Like right now, instead of this time wasting, I clear blue side very quickly, Grump, wolves, blue. Then I reset, or probably not even blue. You don't really need the blue because you're gonna waste it. Just the Grump on the wolves, right? Same with Olaf, except so Olaf with Cinder Hulk is significantly better um, than, than Jarvan with Cinder Hulk. Yeah? Um, he's got the Ninja Tabby. I think we agree Ninja Tabby versus Team Comp is pretty good. Again, we're wasting time. We're wasting time for some gold. Got a control ward. Very good. Okay, so we waited for 10 gold or so on. We go straight to the mid lane. But the ignoring of camps this, this long for me is a bit of an issue. So the Lulu's done a good job here. Let's run top lane. We've got 122 CS to 95, very nice. Um, however, this guy's bottom lane, so they got a 3v1 dive. You should have cleared this before going back to base, which would give you control of the top side camps now, um, once you go mid. Boom, dunked. Smack, smack, smack. And you don't die now, right? But what if the Caitlyn wasn't doing damage? And even then, does she survive? No, she gets it, right? Come on, there you go. Good, okay. This is River Javan. He's playing River Shen, yeah, exactly. River Javan. The problem is, Javan is not as useful as Shen innately, right? No, I no. I play Zyra jungle, of all things. Like, I know how to clear camps and ward and play around there. I track them very well. That's my skill. What I what I lack in mechanics, <laughs> I make fun with, with tracking. But by doing this, you see... You're maximizing place, but you're giving up farm. Every time you do this, you're giving up farm. But again, not the wrong macro play. They're just doing clash, right? They're doing flex Q clash. And you think, hey, still very good. Still pretty good. Um, you could have put the... Like, you're not going to E out. Of, you're not going to E that, okay. They get it anyway, right? Four plates. No farm, though. No mana. We go top side. We're low on resources. We, get, we don't even get the assist on the tower, now we go back to base. Now, as a jungler, this is what happens. Yes. Exactly, you can still take camps and play high pressure. But you, it's when you do the camps, you fall back. Like, instead of, after dragon, wasting time mid, 
play some vision, take this, take this, Good. go back to base. Yes. Now you can go mid and, and do what you did on the Diana. Um, you can shadow. Once you see the Kiana go bottom side, you can shadow. But look at the vision difference. This is red team. You've got a lot of security here. And you're going to be having a Herald come up. Uh, Dragon isn't up. And you took that. But now it's been a, quite a while since the last one. This is when people fall apart in Diamond. They take this. They take this. And they take this. Good high pressure. Okay? Let's see what happens. Give him the dunk! Don't you love Aphelios? See now with Warrior you maybe you'd lose a lot more HP obviously. My issue with it is you are 59 CS in, in 15 minutes. You're not 20, 20 CS behind the enemy jungler. And the scaling XP for the jungle is such that you want to be sequencing this. What's your call, Twitch chat? Base, mid lane, three man. Now what? There's no objectives on the map. What do we do? Okay, kind <laughs> of flashes out. They have a Yumi. Farm, exactly. Your team is, is out of the picture. There's no need to be so deep and force a macro decision up top. And they force a macro decision up top because they're bored. Because there's nothing else to do. There's blue buffs are spawning. But while these guys are not in the fight, that's when you say, right, Krugs, Raptors. That's when you say, okay, I'll do my Wolves Grump. Then as Caitlyn rejoins, as Vega rejoins, you swoop here, right, now you've got your team. Um, he didn't need to base, so the, the, that's a good time to farm. But it's completely yes. wasted. You go up here and you're waiting. You're literally just waiting. Uh, int. Yeah, Chibi, you could int. That That is that is an option, okay? Look at this. Good. You're forcing them to come up. Yes. Your ADC is still not in the picture. It's like 40 seconds. You've got Herald spawning too. Yeah, but why force top? What's the reason for forcing top versus forcing bottom lane, etc.? Um, because you're going to bring the whole team up and you're not going to have your team up. Yes. So you steal the blue. Great. Right? Again? We've done nothing in 45 seconds to a minute. And in solo queue... Good. Exactly. This is how you begin yes. to lose. In solo queue, maybe you are the Jarvan. You're patient. You're smart. You've done good things. 8 out of 9 KP. you got two dragons. you got a herald. You're feeling proud of yourself. You're building supportive. You're giving kills to your ADC. I deserve this win. However, you know, the rest of your team isn't going to be patient. They're going to start to force plays and fights. They're going to start to force it because they get itchy. Yes. Right? And that's why the importance of flow is very important. The importance of flow is very important. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> she decides I'm going to dive into two. Now, Kiana sees that and dives onto this section, right? Now, all of a sudden, they get the mid tower, except... They're rotating late. In this case, the Aurelia should be dealing with this wave. These two should have rotated mid lane. Okay? Because the third dragon is Soul Prior. Yeah, he's too advantage. He's too obsessed with using this advantage into deleting Kiana from the game, but there are no camps. His job's already done. Exactly. Except there were camps. That whole time, you could have taken all these camps. You could have slow pushed this wave. You could have taken this Rift Scuttle. You could have set up Deep Vision in this jungle. You could have rotated across mid lane, done the same thing. All while Caitlyn was walking from here to here. And now you join them for this push, and instead of focusing on the objectives, Aurelia goes too deep. You go too deep, and now you flip the flash out. Okay? You kill two. I mean, that looks good, right? But you're forgetting what... So, despite all of this, right? Despite all of this, you still kill two, and you lose one. Leave. Leave. You've got objective spawning. This is greedy. Now, the thing is, could have looked better. Yeah, but, you know, in Diamond, the intention and the execution sometimes overlap um, in opposite directions, but as long as the job gets done. This is the problem. You think, yo, Dragon, yo, Herald, and you leave. Good. Off he goes. Yes. Your team, however, says, 
Okay, we push more. We, we stay, we push more. Yes, tower. <laughs> Problem is, blue team doesn't see anything. But they know Javan has disappeared out of nowhere. <laughs> so what are they going to do? Hashtag throws in the chat. Good. Javan just walked away. He just walked away. Walked away. Now, now you might say, well, we should ping, right? We should ping. Okay. Look at the chat. No pings. No pings. No pings. None. No communication. Spam ping. Let them know. Guys, back off. Back off. Because they don't notice you left. They don't... Uh, thanks, Stella. They don't notice you left, right? <laughs> They're just so focused on the tower. What do I talk about in my videos? Bot lanes and top laners can just seem like bots. They're so focused on the singular lane, like this. They're blinkers, right? And all of a sudden, you just disappear here. They don't see it. They don't see it. You have to let them know. And, and you know what? It's tunnel vision. And in Diamond, the difference between Diamond 4 and Diamond 3, okay, specifically, is your ability to communicate because they're not dumb. They're Diamond, all right? They're still 1.5%. Now, people can meme on that relative to Mercy Tier is very bad, but compared to the other 98.5% of players, they're pretty damn good. They do know this stuff, but they don't have the awareness yet to apply it at all instances, so you must communicate this. And right there, that's where you throw. There's a big difference between D4 and D3. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. There's a big difference between D3, D2, and D1, but the difference between D4 and D3 is huge. Diamond begins in D3. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But Diamond 4 is way ahead of Platinum 1. You can see by the coachings, we've done D3 coachings. We've done D3 coachings. And now because of this, you give them the, the, the dragon. And now this is the final stage of throw, right? Literally, that's it. Don't steal this. When you want to steal, you need to ask yourself one question. If I die, what happens? If I die, what happens? Now, if you die and get the dragon, that's a third drake. That's okay. But your team might follow you, okay? Because she's here, she's here. If I die and I don't steal it, that's basically what we don't want, okay? Here we go, here we go, here we go. I don't know, some kind of brain lag. Uh, you go in here and you steal it. I mean, he should have got that. But the thing is, uh, he sh in my mind, he could have easily stolen that. This is the problem. You bait your team into it. I, still, I honestly think in this situation, I don't go for the steal. If you get it and you steal it, that's great. But what about momentum? What about momentum? Like, they're not even here. They died. So she shouldn't be here. She shouldn't be here. And it's not Javan's fault that they're there, right? But Diamond's, Diamond Daryl sees it. He sees it. And there it goes. Yumi on Aatrox. Delete Yumi from the game. The late game team comp is turned on. Here we go. Finally, he dies. She jumps into Ophelios. Dinah goes in with the stonks. Yumi heals more the stonks. All stonks everywhere. Gold lead is gone. Throw is in action. That's it. That's it. The game is lost right there. Because we left our team without pinging or communicating. Now, do they leave if you ping? Maybe. But why leave without pinging? Why just ditch? If you're going to stay, stay. Maybe you win the fight with you. Um, but otherwise communicate that you're leaving. And here, don't necessarily bait them into the steal. Just ping. But yeah, you must communicate in diamond. You must. You must, you must, you must. You know? And here, this is what we call the tilt move. Why? Why? No, don't do it. Jonathan, don't do it. Okay, you're dead. No, don't do it, guys. It's Yumi and Aphelios. You were 1v9ing in terms of map. You were 1v9ing in objective control. You were 1v9ing in everything. Your only problem was you didn't camp sequence during downtime when your lane is one of the picture. You wasted that time to get a level lead. Okay? If you had that level lead, maybe you can steal that dragon. Two, you didn't communicate to your team. Okay? Right? Um, and step three, you tilted, tried to 2v2 in a fellow as Yumi. Never gonna happen. Right there, that's the game. As soon as you start building more correctly, 
uh, in terms of your, your, your goals, like build, build warrior, do some damage. And as soon as you start to control a little bit of your selfishness by increasing it, um, maybe you can have more impact in these moments, but like right there, those two things, game's done. Game's done. It's, it's that simple.